Welcome to Love Set Run. I'm Andre. And I'm Sierra. Join us as we backpack around the world, leaving a footprint of love everywhere we go. We'll show you how you can consciously volunteer on your travels, how fun and rewarding it is to give back, and how you too can make a difference in the world. We landed at the time that our next flight is boarding. Unfortunately, it's the same airline waiting for us, sign, so I think we're all good. We're gonna make it. What's the address? And I said, it's next to this bank. I said, suck on back. And the other officer there was like, oh, no name hotel. That's the name of where we're going. He knew it. <laughs> Small <that> world. <laughs> we're here at no name. Our first Airbnb is actually right above this bar. Not a bad deal. Now it's time to go find some street food. All right, our first meal. What are we eating? Fried soup. Our first bread lao. Wow. <laughs> We've heard so much about beer lao. Thank you. Thank you. Good, because we're going to be drinking it for the next two weeks, every day. <laughs> Vientiane's the capital city of Laos. It sits along the Mekong River, a stone's throw away from Thailand on the other side. All right, we're out for our first day in Vientiane. Gonna go get some noodles. It's a new city day. It's always exciting. New country day. Going to get some new food. We found this local spot called Mr. Tucky Noodle Shop, and we're having some Laotian wonton soup. It's so good. We didn't like it at all. Clearly. I learned as the day went on that women need to cover their shoulders in Laos. Whoops, white girl faux pas. This is the famous Vientiane night market. Yeah, I know it's the daytime, but that never stopped anyone from wandering around this sprawling expanse of pop-up shops. Intoxicating smells of street food drift through the air as we watch the locals go about their daily lives and we marvel at the sensory overload that surrounds us. Street Sontem. Green papaya salad. Potent, spicy, but good. I just bought this bamboo wrapped tube of sticky rice. Look at that. Motorbikes. So many motorbikes. Now we're in the night market and it's actually night and it has gotten crazy, but we are loving every minute of the madness. just in time for Bun Ak Pansa, Buddhist Lent, which also celebrates the full moon at the end of the rainy season. Locals go all out with their river offerings, sending handmade banana leaf and flower floats infused with prayers for good luck. 
many great Muay Thai fighters come out of Laos. Believe it or not, I used to train Muay Thai, so it was really fun to see this open match. Oosh, oosh, away! <laughs> morning market. It's not the morning, it's the afternoon, but everything's basically closed. It's a holiday. It's a holiday. Love, Love set, set, run. run. Sabadi from Laos coming to you from the morning market. <laughs> Did you know that Laos is the most heavily bombed country per capita in the world? Between 1964 and 1973, the U.S. launched more than 270 million cluster bombs on Laos. That's the equivalent to a cargo plane full of bombs every eight minutes, 24 hours a day, for nine years. These bombs that fell didn't always go off. They are known as a UXO, unexploded ordinance. Months or even years later, even today, curious kids can stumble upon one and become seriously injured, deformed, or even killed. COPE exists to help support patients with surgery, prosthetic and orthotic devices, and rehabilitation. You can visit their informative museum for free right here in Vientiane. Street food, karaoke, and dinner outside with family and friends, this is what life in Laos is all about. Stay tuned for our volunteering adventures in Van Bien. 